Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video I'm going to give you guys a much closer look at the Inkbird ITC308. Now this is an extremely versatile piece of equipment, a heating and cooling thermostat. So you can plug in just about any piece of equipment that's got a three pin plug on it and this thermostat here is going to automate that piece of equipment. So it's brilliant in those warmer or even cooler months. So I'll give you guys a quick run through on the potential that this piece of equipment has. So starting with the main module here, this is the control interface where it will display the temperature and of course the set value that you're currently looking for. It's a really easy way to interface with this unit and adjust those parameters. There'll be a little bit more on that shortly. But as we come down the cable here, we've got the output plug, which is of course cooling and heating. So really self-explanatory. You're gonna plug in your cooling equipment there and your heating equipment there. Now you can of course plug in a multi-board if you need to run several pieces of equipment because these units are capable of running up to about 2000 watts or 10 amps worth of equipment straight through this device. So they've got a nice heavy duty relay in there for managing all of your equipment. Now I will also mention though, the supplied sensor here measures about 1.9 meters long. So you've got a bit of length there for plugging it in or setting it in your equipment or whether it's a root zone for your plants or even if you're looking to brew alcohol. It is a great option and it does have a nice bit of length for reaching those hard to reach areas. I will mention though, this cable is not completely waterproof. If you are gonna submerge it, just only submerge the metal tip to get a really accurate reading and without actually getting some moisture in the sensor because they don't like it after a long time. So just a little note for you guys there. Now it does have about a 1.2 meter ca power cable on it, of course a three pin with earth. And with this particular unit, it does have a little hook there so you can hard mount it. But as I mentioned earlier, the Wi-Fi control module is gonna give you full access to this remotely as long as it's within Wi-Fi range and 2.4 gigahertz, which is a little bit technical for you out there who don't know what that is, that is simply a Wi-Fi range setting. So just keep that in mind, it's worth looking into or reaching out to us to just ask those questions and make sure it's fully compatible with your Wi-Fi. All right, so let's say it's winter time and you're needing to heat up that grow space or some seedlings or what have you. We've got a heat saver here. Got the three pin cable off the back end. Just gonna take our output module and plug that into heating because of course we want to be heating up that grow space, nice and easy. We've already powered up our ink bird here and you're gonna see our display. Now, at the top value there, we are reading the current temperature, which is just based off this little temperature probe sensor, and the SV value is the set value temperature. So that's what it's currently set to and it's gonna be trying to heat to before it turns off. Notice a little heating LED is illuminated, meaning that that heat saver is now powered up and is going to be heating up that grow space. So. Just starting here, we've got a little flashing Wi-Fi symbol, which means it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Of course, we haven't gone through installing that through the app or anything. We're not gonna worry about that in this particular video, but I'll just run you through the parameters that we've got here. So let's say you wanna adjust that set value. You're just gonna hold the set button for three seconds. And we've got TS, so that's our set value, which is now flashing. So if you wanna adjust that, let's go, we wanted it 26 degrees, you're going to hold set for three seconds. Don't forget that, holding it for three seconds locks it in. Now, as you can see, set value is now 26. So for most people, this is probably all they're gonna do. And I'll give you one more example, hold set for three seconds to bring the menu up. And we're gonna set it right down below our temperature. So it's currently about 18 degrees. So let's go right down to about maybe 16 or 15 degrees as our set point. So there we go, 15.3, that's where we want it. Let's hold set for three seconds. Excellent. Now the heating output has just switched off and the cooling output has now illuminated. So what's happened here is our heat saver has stopped heating. And if you just come over here, our cooling output will now be powered up. So if you've plugged in a fan, it is now gonna be uh, powered up and operating. So a really easy way to do it. Now don't be fooled though, there are some more parameters within this controller you can set, like differentials, even heating offsets. It's all here in this absolutely brilliant little booklet. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, gotten a little more information on just how versatile and useful these little modules are. But of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.